Hello, this is Brian Wright from Wright Web Consulting back with our second WordPress management tutorial. In this video, I am going to teach you all about your dashboard. Well, I'm not going to teach you all about it. I'm going to teach you the 20,000 foot overview of your dashboard in this video. Um, let's start at the top. At the top is your WordPress toolbar. And the first thing on the left is the WordPress menu, which gives you access to all sorts of different information about WordPress itself. Um, you can go to the documentation and support forums. You can leave feedback. Um, not a menu you're going to use too often. The next thing over is the visit site menu. Um, well, it's the, the menu for your site itself. Really, there's only one thing under here. Usually, um, you can click visit your site. Um, Clicking the name of your site at the top does the exact same thing. All it does is take you to your homepage. Now, one thing you're going to notice when you do that is that when you're logged in, that toolbar follows you around your site. And your site menu changes a little bit when you do that. It gives you some access to back, go back to your dashboard and to get to a couple of different things around your site. Um, we will talk about all those options in time. So we're just going to go back to our dashboard. Next thing over is an indicator of how many updates you have to install on your site. Um, we'll talk about updates in depth a little bit later, so don't get too caught up. But just know that uh, your WordPress site is just like any other piece of software. Sometimes updates are released and you should eventually install them. Next thing over is an indicator of how many pending comments are on your site. We'll talk about comments a little later as well. The next thing over is the new content menu. And if you drop that down, you're going to see post media page and user. That is to create new post, upload new media, create a new page, or add a new user. Um, you might actually see more things on this list depending on your configuration. Um, but these are the basic types of content that you can manage through WordPress without any plugins installed. All the way to the right is your profile menu. It says, how do you write web consulting? That's just my username. Um, if we click our username, we can view and edit our profile. We can click the edit my profile link, which does the exact same thing. Or we can click log out to close our session and go back to the WordPress login screen. Now, down the left-hand side is your WordPress sidebar, which gives you access to all of WordPress's features on the dashboard. We're not going to talk in depth here about these, but of course the uh, dashboard menu, well, that gives you access to your dashboard. Home underneath that does the same thing. Updates gives you access to, uh, well, all your pending updates. Same as the button at the top that we talked about. The post menu lets you manage posts, which are basically blog content, and we're going to get into all these things in detail later. Media lets you manage your media library. That's things like uploaded images, videos, audio, etc., etc. Pages lets you manage your page content. Um, pages are a little bit different from posts. They're very similar, but they're different. Posts are kind of like your blog or news content. Pages are... To me, they're always your top level content that are like the, the things on your primary navigation um, that are the, the main content of your website. Comments, well, that lets you manage comments you, if you have commenting enabled on your website. We'll get to that. Appearance lets you manage the appearance of your website. Things like the theme you have installed, theme customizations, um, widgets installed around your website and where they appear. Um, your site menus, like your primary navigation or footer navigation. And the editor, well, we'll get to that stuff later, but basically it actually lets you edit the code of your website, although I don't recommend it. Next is the plugins menu. Yes, WordPress's power comes from the fact that you can install plugins, and there are many thousands of plugins available. We'll talk about that in depth later, but this menu lets you manage and enable, disable, and add new plugins. Users, that lets you manage all the user accounts enabled on your website and uh, reset your password, stuff like that from your profile. We'll get to all this in time. Tools, well, this gives you access to a couple of different tools that are available through your site. Um, import and export lets you uh, import content into your website. Export allows you to export your site content out to a file where you can import it into another WordPress install later. Export 
personal data and erase personal data. Well, that stuff we'll talk about a little bit later. That's pretty interesting. Settings. Well, this lets you manage the general settings of your WordPress website. Um, things like the site name, the administrative email address. Um, there's actually a lot of things under here, and we will get to all of these things in time. Collapse menu. Gosh, what do you think that does? Yep, it collapses your menu. All right, so moving across your actual dashboard area, look at the top, you've got screen options. These two uh, tabs up here at the top, these are things that are gonna follow you throughout the WordPress dashboard, and they'll have different content based on what screen you're on. Screen options generally lets you um, control, to a certain extent, what appears on the screen that you're on. Um, on the main dashboard screen, we can turn off which widgets appear there. Look, I got nothing now. You can, you can decide on which widgets are actually useful to you. Um, at a glance, activity, quick draft, that might be stuff you use. Um, at a glance just gives you, you know, a 20,000 foot overview of what's going on on your site. How many, type, uh, how many of each type of content are currently published on the site? What theme is installed and active? Um, activity shows you, well, it shows you your recent activity, what you've recently published, recent comments as well. And Quick Draft is a way that you can create new posts very quickly without going through the post add new menu. Um, though it just lets you uh, write a title and some text. So it's pretty limited. I tend to not ever use it. All right. So that's pretty much your dashboard. Um, that is. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that this is your basic WordPress dashboard. There are no plugins installed on this site, so this is what you get by default. And, um, well, your view may vary. All right, well, in the next video, we will be digging into some of these items a little bit more in depth. So we'll see you then.